In this video, we will walk you through the process for tracking the movement of equipment, such as PPE, as well as obtaining accurate counts of supplies on hand. During this time, being able to track equipment and supplies as they are distributed, as well as who has been in possession of what equipment, is more important than ever. Whether the resource is PPE from the Strategic National Stockpile or from donations, Salamander allows you to quickly import existing data into Salamander Live and start tracking immediately. From there, you can perform audits and make adjustments to quantities on the fly, track the issuance and return of supplies, set alerts to reorder supplies, perform maintenance, handle inspections, and add notes, such as when assets were sanitized or sterilized, time and date stamp visibility on activity, run real-time reports, and manage donations or assets on loan. The first step is to import existing equipment data into Salamander Live. The best way to do this is to utilize our import template to ensure little to no import errors occur. Before completing the template, it is recommended you review the Equipment Import Quick Reference Guide, which contains the accepted formats and values for each field. The import template and guide can be found in Salamander University or by clicking Import, then Equipment. Once the template is completed, simply upload it into Salamander Live by clicking Import, then Equipment. From there, click Browse, find the file, and double click on it, and then click Upload File. To ensure the data imported properly, check your email for the import results and fix any records that need fixing. Once the data has been imported, as an option, you can print a tag containing a scannable barcode for each equipment. These barcodes can then be scanned directly into the inventory app and be tracked for usage, audits, and return. To print tags, select the equipment and then click Print. In the Print Selections window, select your printer and tag design. Two recommended designs are the 2x1, which would be placed directly on the item, or the 8.5x11, which prints up to 10 barcodes on a sheet that can then be put into a 3-ring binder for easy scanning at any time. Using the Inventory app, you can manage the issuance and return of equipment on a person-by-person -person basis. With each equipment being returned, you can easily change its status so that it can't be reissued out. On top of this, you can perform audits and make changes on the fly. To issue out equipment, log into the Inventory app and on the Issue screen, either tap the item to add it to the cart or tap the Scan icon to scan the item's barcode. Next, add the person the inventory is going to be issued out to. You can either tap the person icon to download them from Salamander Live or scan their Salamander ID tag. Once all items have been added, go to the issue cart by tapping the summary at the bottom of the screen. Review all items in the cart and once satisfied, tap Issue. When equipment is ready to be returned, tap the menu and select Return Inventory. All equipment and who they have been issued out to will be listed. Either tap the equipment or tap the person's name to add all equipment listed under their name to the return cart. If the equipment has been labeled with barcodes, 
you can tap the scan icon and scan them for return. Once all equipment for return have been added, go to the return cart by tapping the summary at the bottom of the screen. Review all items in the cart. If an equipment is return damaged or is missing, tap the More menu to change its status. Once you're ready to check everything in, tap Return. To perform an audit, go to the menu, select Adjust Inventory, tap the Scan button, and scan the equipment barcode. From there, there are a few things you can do depending on whether the item is a fixed asset or consumable. You can change the status, adjust the quantity on hand, add comments, and add or update a photo. All audit activity can be viewed in the physical count report which we'll cover later in the video. In Salamander Live, you can set alerts to reorder supplies, perform maintenance, handle inspections, and more. The alert's main function is to notify you when an action needs to be taken for an individual inventory item. For example, for COVID-19 containment, you can use alerts and notes to indicate when items were sanitized or sterilized. To add an alert, navigate to the equipment's profile and then click Add Alert. In the pop-up window, select the alert type, the date it should expire, a short description for the alert, if the alert should reoccur, select its duration, and add any notes. As alerts near the expiration date, they will appear on the Home Dashboard under the Alerts List tile. As alerts expire, you'll receive an email notification the following day. To take action on an alert, click on the record, and then click on the alert to edit it. Under Notes, enter the actions taken, and then click Complete. Once an alert is completed, the activity is date and time stamped for reporting visibility. In Salamander Live, there are a multitude of inventory reports you can download. In the alert reports, you can view when inspections, maintenance, reorders, etc. were completed, as well as any that are pending or expired. The note history on a piece of equipment can help provide peace of mind to the next person being issued the equipment. With the physical count report, you can view when items are audited and adjusted and by whom. The issued inventory report allows you to see what supplies or equipment has been issued out and to whom. You can use the data to track equipment that was issued out to responders who contract COVID-19 and create an alert to sanitize them. And last, the consumable usage summary and detail reports, reports on what and how many consumable supplies were issued out and to whom within a date range. You can use this data to see what supplies are issued out most and increase quantity on hand to accommodate the demand. 